Lugia is still one of the best decks in the game, so today we're gonna try and beat it. Hey, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we are, well, I already said what we're doing. We, we're trying to beat Lugia, and I am the filthy Lugia player, and my friend Michaela is gonna try and beat Lugia with Arceus Beedrill, a deck that I personally love. I, uh, man, Arceus Beedrill Lycanroc or Arceus Beedrill Lucario is probably one of my favorite decks to play, though it wasn't very good. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so we did a webcam battle. Michaela, she played Arceus Beedrill. I played Arceus, uh, I played, I didn't play Arceus. I played Lugia. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. We're just going to get into the gameplay. But before we do, if you haven't already, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff tells YouTube this is a good channel. Other people should watch it. Also, Michaela is a content creator herself. She's over on Optimal 60. So I have a link to her YouTube and Twitter in the video description. So please go give Michaela a follow. Much appreciated. And with all that said, let's head over and uh, try and see how this game goes. Michaela, it's been a little since you've been no. on the chat. No? It's Michaela. Michaela? Have I been saying Michaela? Yeah. Michaela? Am I? Probably. Am I an idiot? Do I no, not know? you're not. It's a wonky name. Do I not? All the time. Do I not know how to read? Don't worry. They got it wrong at both of my graduations. With a pronunciation guide. Michaela. Yes, I was mad. Yeah, yeah. I, ah, uh, God. Well, Michaela, <laughs> it's, it's been a while and, uh, and clearly, rightfully so. How are you doing? Oh, we were, we were recording this. Oh, goodness. I thought we were going to restart it. Oh, I don't I don't think so. I'm going to leave in my blunder. Goodness. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I've, you've been exposed. I, I, I've fraud. been... <laughs> uh, listen, anyone who's been watching more than uh, five minutes of my channel knows that already, so... Oh, that's a shame. I know, I right? Uh, it's yeah. good to see you again, though, Nick. So we're here... To, to test a little bit, play some Pokemon. Uh, what do you have for us? Well, I've been I've been thinking, and I, I expect that you've also been thinking occasionally. But what I've been oh thinking boy, about you'd is be that so this wrong. Media Beastar deck. Oh, I'm. So, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, but this Lugia V Star deck that's dominating the meta. You know what are the best answers for it? And there's not a whole lot. But I've recently come across this list, and I was thinking, oh, this. This is going to have a good Lugia matchup, and then be decent at everything else. So today I have Arceus Beedrill. Let's see if I can find my wonderful proxies. You can see the Arceus <laughs> and the Beedrill. Yeah, here it is. This. That's... This is the answer to Lugia. A that... piece of paper <laughs> with Beedrill written on it. That's a, a real good Beedrill, let me tell you. Now... Mm -hmm. I personally love Arc Bees, and Arceus Beedrill mm -hmm. Lycanroc was one of my favorite decks in 2022. So, mm. I have uh, Arc Bees has like a special place for me, but I am unsure if it's gonna be enough to deal with Lugia, right? Like mu single strike mustard, which is your your way of getting Beedrill out can be a little annoying. You have to have no cards in hand except for Mustard and an open bench slot, and then you have to be able to have the Beedrill in deck. You need a way to get your active Pokemon out of the active so you can replace it with Beedrill and put an energy on it all in a single turn in order to make that Beedrill as useful as you can make it. Otherwise, I'm very likely just going to boss it up and KO it before it ever has a chance to knock out a Pokemon. But... I mean, if you can make that play happen, Beedrill just instantly knocks out any Pokemon with a single uh, with a special energy attached to it. So it's very, very scary. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, this list runs two copies of Beedrill and two copies of Single Strike Mustard. So uh, the worst case scenario for the Lugia player is that there's two Beedrills to deal with. Yes. Now, and they're not low on HP either. They're not. Uh, what do they have? One thirty health. That's right, 130. So that means it can take an attack from a Raikou 
uh, the amazing rare, and they can also tank a couple of hits from uh, anything that doesn't have powerful energy on it, like the Archeops, that's attack. Right, because I think that's... Right, right. Well, So you have to be extra mindful of the damage modifiers. Well, a lot of Lugia decks run, in addition to Archeops, which is a, a really good single prize response to something like a Beedrill, uh, Amazing Ray Yveltal and Charizard, which are really... I mean, that's, I think, the question. Is is We're both going to be trading one and two prize Pokemon back and forth, and my challenge is getting the Archeops in the discard, and your challenge is getting your hand down to zero, essentially. So it'd be, it's going to be very interesting to see how this works. And you have the advantage of the Inteleon line, which will let you just search a deck for anything you want. Ultra Ball is a super powerful card. Um, you know, you could thin your hand down to zero with an Ultra Ball, potentially grab Luminion if you have one, throw it down, play Luminion to get a Mustard, and there you go. Now you, you just... Mustard, and and mustard not only gets you that B drill, but it also lets you draw five cards. It's a it's a really good supporter if you can make it happen. Easy peasy lemon beezy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, are you all shuffled up and ready to go? I believe I am. All right. Ready to go. Would you like odd or even? I'll take odds. Odd. All right. I like those odds. That rolled off the table. That is a, a, a it's a one, so your choice. I would love to go first. All right, letting Who, Lugia go first could be a mistake. <laughs> yes, and also you know you you running an Arceus deck. Arceus generally likes to go first. Okay, this isn't. You're a not gonna look hunt. at my hand, right? I might. I don't know. No peeking. <laughs> I can't make that promise. This is my channel. We you do it. Can I? There's a mulligan. You get to peek. Oh boy! All right. Wah, wah. I feel like you know. I just did a video with Justin Basil, and he mulliganed mm -hmm. four times in one game. And it got to the point where we just did a judge ball, and we're like, "This is, I can't." This I'm like, gonna say you're approaching judge ball territory. Yeah. So we uh we had to deal with that. It just it just seems like. Coincidence that all my guests tend to mulligan. Hmm. Yeah. Are you using the force to cause this? Oh, 100%. If I had the ability to, are you kidding? I it... gotta check my room for psychic types. No, I think we all know that psychic types are my enemy. Mm. So this is not a grand conspiracy then? No, no, sadly it's not. Not this time. Yeah, not yet. Once I develop my Jedi powers, then maybe. You know, I think I think you're I think you're uh, covering up something because there's another. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's two. That, that, That's two too many. That two does come after one. Yeah. I think this deck has about thirty percent odds of mulliganing on a given hand. Maybe a little less. I have to check my spreadsheet because you know there's. You know me. You know I've got the numbers. Yes. But... You bring receipts wherever you go. Yeah, I should, you know, I should hope so, as I've recently finally become a full lawyer. Woo, full lawyer. That's right. Viewers might remember last time I was on the show, I was still in law school. Yeah, you were... That is no longer the case. You were three quarters I'm of a, a lawyer, lawyer at that time. I'm now 100% lawyer. And I don't have a mulligan. All right. Ready? Y yes. And here we go. Some narration for the folks at home. I've started a sobble, and I have a handful of things that are not what I'd like. I took my two mulligan draws, by the way. I don't think I could actually use any of these cards, except to attach a single basic energy to sobble and pass. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I will this draw for turn. It's, it's going to end horribly over here. Uh, so let's see. We are going to have to... Playing Arceus. All right. We're going to Ultra Ball. And Urshifu. 
And I think we're going to get rid of... I'm not in danger of you attacking this turn, so we'll go ahead and get rid of Lugia V. And we'll find ourselves in Archeops. And then I will... I will... I'm going to play it kind of risky here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to be real greedy. And I'm going to get rid of a Oh, I actually I don't need to do I have the Archeops in hand, so actually I can Ultra Ball an Archeops and a powerful colorful powerful colorless energy rather. To get a second Archeops. Assuming it's not prized. I should take a look at my, my deck real quick for prizes. Right? Just to kind of know what I'm working with here. You gotta build those good habits. Right? You know, if you want to play as good as you do at practice, then you have to practice as good as you hope to play. That is very accurate. And also a mouthful. But I think, I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. So, we got the second Archeops. I'm going to attach an Aurora Energy and discard Archeops to play the Aurora Energy. And from there, I'm going to... I think I'm just going to pass the turn. I don't need to read... Uh, actually, should I... I think I should read... Oh, God. That gets kind of risky. I don't think I need to read the wind. I think I'm okay. So, I'll pass it off to you. I always read the wind when I, you know, play Lugia. I like drawing cards. I do too, but, but what I have in my hand, I, I don't necessarily want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And that could make a lot of sense uh, if you've got a professor's research in hand that you're waiting to use or something like that that discards your hand. So I'm going to draw for turn. Uh, continue to curse my wonderful luck. Drop a second Sobble so at least I don't get donged. Uh, and for the folks at home, this is what I'm working with. Uh, it's a little, uh, it's see, a little it's off really, screen. If you bring it down a little, really very impressive. This might, yeah, there you go. More in frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a tough hand. Yeah, it's pretty dead. Uh, best I can do is keep calling, oh. so that will let me search my deck for the remainder of my sobbles and check what's prized. Well, There's one right at the top. It seems like a good shuffle was needed. But unfortunate. But you can never really control Yeah. I mean what you've got in your shuffle. That's unless you are cheating. Right. You one could, but you get a you get disqualified for that, so don't do that. Uh but while you mm -hmm. shuffle, I will draw for turn. We'll evolve into the Lugia V-Star. We will go ahead and immediately use our V-Star power to get our two Archeops into play. Uh, and Aluminion. Get ourselves a supporter. You have nothing going on, so a... Marnie isn't a smart idea. We'll just go ahead and get research. Shuffle up a little bit. I don't necessarily need to boss. I don't have to really do much. Actually, I don't know why I'm shuffling because before I research, I am going to Primal Turbo. We'll get Primal Turbo. Uh, let's see. We'll go Primal Turbo number one. And I'll not use Primal Turbo two just yet. Want to see if I could set up a better attacker. Luminion's not a bad choice, but we'll see what happens after we research. Okay. So using the Primal Turbo before you research lets you thin your deck slightly more, which could increase your odds of drawing into the basics you're looking for. Um, which, if I were playing Lugia right now, I'd be looking for a Raikou. So I don't play Raikou. Because if I if I really? oh if I did that would be 
immediately what I'm looking for. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, no Raikou. Instead, I am going to research really? away a Lugia V-Star and a Manaphy, which is the second V-Star at hand, which is why I did not want to uh, read the wind. I didn't want to discard it and then, you know, you Marnie me, and now it's a little bit harder to find a V-Star. Hmm, that makes sense. So, but now I'm all set up. I don't really care as much. And we'll research, get our seven. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do I... I can attach this choice belt just for when you get that V out. Which I think is, like, the dangerous part for you now is once you bench that V, uh, you have to be wary of a boss or a Serena. Mm-hmm. And I will Ultra Ball away another V-Star and a Choice Belt. Okay. And... That just card's starting to get full of cards. It is, yeah. 100%. And I'm going to get a Single Strike Urshifu. And I feel like any anybody who plays against me should expect some f type of fighting Pokemon. I wasn't sure I'd heard you right, except I've heard you say Urshifu many times, but I'm sitting here thinking, Urshifu and Lugia? Yeah. Could it be possible? It is, because the single, the Primal Turbo allows me to power up an Urshifu VMAX instantly, and then one hit KO through, like, Duraludon, or one hit KO through Gudra. Um, some of those really difficult Pokemon, maybe, that uh, Lugia decks might struggle with otherwise. That's pretty good. Yeah. And... One of the best parts of Lugia is using that powerful energy. And if you've got uh, impact energy in there for the single strike Urshifu, then that's almost like having a second set of powerful energies. I do have the single strike energies, which act as... Um, which increase the damage by 20. The impact energy makes it so you can't be poisoned. Really? Yes. Is that the name of the single? Well, I, you're the expert. You're the Urshifu expert. There, there are I'm two single strike energy. energies. One of them is impact energy. Uh, it provides every type of energy, but only one, at, like only one at a time, um, and it also makes it so you can't be poisoned. Single Which strike is pretty good right now with wheezing everywhere. Yes, single strike energy is the one that provides a fighting or a dark type energy, and also does increases your damage by twenty. See, this is why I have Forsable and no V Pokemon out. You know, I need to know these things. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, being able to one-shot your V-Star with the Urshifu, I mean, I, did I need it? No, but I like to have it in play. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and Tempest Dive, take the KO. And He lives his best Sobbly little life. He tried. Tried his best. It's a real Sobble story. That was terrible. I will draw for turn, and I will get a Drizzile. So I will evolve on my bench Sobble. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a turn for the history books here. I'm gonna grab a Quick Ball. I'm gonna go right back in. I'm going to discard an Arceus Feast Star with the Quick Ball. Pull out main man Arceus V. Now my list does not run Dunsparce. So if you've got that single strike Urshifu in play, I don't really have any outs to the weakness problem. Oh yeah. Dunsparce was in an earlier version of this list. Um, but just there aren't quite so many fighting types in the meta that I figured it was a safe cut. But I should have known that the local fighting type expert. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Who's going to come up here? at the moment, Lugia V-Star is doing 230 anyway, because it does 220 base, plus 30 for Choice Belt is 250, minus 20 for Double Turbo, so 230. So it's enough to take out the the Arceus V on its own. I don't necessarily need the, the Urshifu, but like I said, I like to have that extra level of pressure. Mm -hmm. So now the cool thing is I have this Raihan, which I can finally use because you just knocked out Saul. I can attach the Grass Energy and search my deck for any card. Which in this case is going to be another Arceus V. Mm, yeah, it's a good pick. And to that benched Arceus V, I'm going to attach the double turbo in my hand. 
I'll make sure you can see all these. So now, whichever one you choose to knock out, and you can't get both, I will have a Arceus V-Star ready attacker for next turn. The bad news is that I again have to pass. Ooh, okay. Well, I will draw. Well, there's one of those single strike energies that I will attach to Urshifu. Uh, I'm definitely going to Serena and take one of your Arceus, right? Just because... Oh, the, the, Double Turbo or Grass Energy 1? Uh, it doesn't... I don't think it matters too much because you can just Starbirth for the other one. But I don't want to put a Grass Energy in the discard for a potential like training court play. So I'm going to take the DTE. Mm -hmm. and I don't need a primal turbo just yet. I kind of like hanging on to my energies in the deck. One, I don't want to make the deck too thin, and two, I, you know, I don't want to load up a Pokemon, then you boss KO it, you know? So, but I don't have to worry about that too, too much, because you still need to play a Mustard to get a to get Beedrill even out. And Arceus yeah, is not going to... Yeah, issue... Is that I'm so behind on prizes. You've got, after you knock out this Arceus, you'll have three to my six. Yeah. And Arceus can't knock out Lugia anyway. So, I think I'm kind of okay uh, to just take the KO. Whoop. Hello. Okay. And now my choice of what to promote is going to have to be something I can scoop up net to get Beedrill in. So it should probably be one of the Sobbles. Now, would it make sense to go Drizzile so you can Inteleon, scoop up net, and then use Drizzile? Yes. Um, although if I'm doing a single strike mustard play, that's actually a bad idea because then I will have the Inteleon trapped in my hand and need to discard it. Mm, okay, yeah, that's true. If you're, gonna, if you're making mustard mm -hmm. happen this turn, which it sounds like you're going to be able Correct. to. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I top deck the mustard, so that's always helpful. Okay, drop an Arceus V-Star. Now, the problem is that when I Starbirth, I need to find a path to getting an extra energy. And I can't do that before I single strike mustard. So I also can't attach before the Beedrill comes out. Right. This is one of the many challenges of Arc Beedrill. Yeah. What's your active? It's that Lugia. So I could instead use the turn to attach a double turbo, attack with Arceus, and then work on getting Beedrill out next turn. Or I could go for the risky play and hope that the five cards I get off of Single Strike Mustard is enough to grab me Drizzile and Sobble pieces, which I think is pretty good odds, so I will Starbirth. Boop. And grab two cards of choice. I'd imagine one has to be a DTE. No, actually, because if I'm if I'm going for B drill, it can't be the DTE. Oh, I thought you, you were gonna attack this turn with Arceus. That's my mistake. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna YOLO. Alright. So the two cards I Starbirth for, one of them is going to be um a quick pull to discard the extra supporter in my hand. That's a Charon's Care. And the other one is going to have to be something that doesn't go into my hand. I'm thinking a Pal Pad. Or maybe this Big Charm. Big Charm is probably a good choice. I could grab the Pal Pad. I know the Beedrill's in deck. I know the energy search I need off of a Sobble is in deck. Right. I have enough Drizzile outs. I think I'll take the Big Charm and the Quick Ball. Okay. Attach the big charm to Arceus. Discard Sharon's care with mustard with the with the quick ball, not the mustard. Okay, and then I have to shuffle and then hope the five cards I top deck are enough to put me back in the game. And if they're not, well, I'm way too far on the back foot. Mustards, you search first before you draw. Yes. Oh, you're right. Single strike mustard. I don't even need to shuffle. I can just right. search you, then shuffle. Exactly. Boop. Beedrill's on the bench.
Man, this is where I wish I played Avery. If only. But I would probably discard a Sobble, so it wouldn't yeah, be too it damaging. It wouldn't be my idea of a good day, but... Sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. Five cards. And I managed to pull a level ball. Okay. Which I can use to get the Drizzile I need. Right there. Drizzile. You have a nice little you don't chain. Have a pair, no, you have a close belt. Yeah. Yeah. Drizzile can shady dealings. Oh, I wish that was a power soul. You'd dealings. be you'd be done. Scoop up net. Scoop up net to hand. Play that. Lift this. Drop B drill. I can bench the Sobble. And then I can use the Drizzile I just picked up to Shady Dealings. Shady Dealing can pull out the Energy Search. Energy Search can pull out a Grass Energy. Grass Energy attached to Beedrill. Okay. And with that, not only is my deck significantly thinner, but I will be able to KO the Lugia V-Star using the... Let me... Before I do that, I don't have any other problems I need to worry about. So I will use Persist Sting, Beedrill's first attack, and knock out Lugia V-Star. All right. Beedrill has 130 health, so I can't even Luminion kind of swing into it and uh, run away. So now we got to send Yeah, you up. have to commit one of your major attackers. Uh, all right. I'll go... Archeops. That's fine, I think. And I'll draw for turn. Mm -hmm. We are going to Primal Turbo, number one. Let's see. And if I get these two... Okay, that's good. So there's two. Primal Turbo 2 would do one and two. Okay, cool. So, Primal Turbo 1 is going to get a single strike energy and an Aurora energy onto my Urshifu V, just to get ready for that, uh, that Arceus V-Star. And Primal Turbo number two is going to get a Capture and a Powerful Colorless to go onto the Archeops. I will play Capture Energy from hand onto the Archeops in the active. We'll go ahead and... Before I choose, I just want to make sure that I have... We're going to get a Yveltal. Not the Yveltal. Not in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for much longer, but for now. Very true. That will rotate soon. It feels like it's been too long since we had our last rotation. It does. It does. And in fact, this is longer than usual for a rotation since we're rotating sometime in, I think, either mid-April or late March. I want to say mid-April because it's it's when Scarlet Violet base set becomes legal. I'm playing a research. Which is a little risky because I don't want to draw too many energies. But... Mm -hmm. This is actually okay. So, we'll just go ahead and... Uh, I think we'll just speed wing for the KO. Okay, what's attached to your um, Archeops right now? Two captures and a powerful, so I'm doing 140. Yep. Beedrill goes away, buzzes off. I'm going to have to figure out what to promote again. I think it has to be Drizzile for a scoop up Inteleon play. And you should be down to two prizes. Yes, I which am. Which is a horrible position for me, but this is the this is the turn I could bring it back. 
Now, I can't single strike mustard and boss's orders in the same turn, and I don't play escape rope, so there's nothing I could do to both get a B-draw and attack that single strike Urshifu in the background. And Although getting rid of one of your Archaeops is a pretty good game objective as well. Well, I, I put you in a I tough spot. If you get rid of the Urshifu, your Velta comes yes. in and KOs. If you get rid of the Archaeops, well, the Urshifu is already set up. And if you get rid of the Yveltal... And the are... Yveltal takes two turns. I can get Yveltal set up next turn with both Archaeops in play. Right, but not with both, not with one of them knocked out. Right, but then I have Urshifu. Hmm. Does anyone have a choice belt attached? Uh, no. I don't think so. That's unfortunate. I'm stuck with the lost vacuum in my hand and no, no way to get rid of it. You can get rid of your own big charm. But I don't want to do that because I need that big charm. Uh, it, it, Urshifu's damage... Well, actually, it doesn't help versus either of your two attacking threats. Right. So I don't need the big charm. Right. Speaking. Which hmm. you probably could have picked a better card off of the Starbirth than big charm, given that Lukia is not KOing in one hit. Um, unless I commit more powerful colorless energies, and Urshifu and Yavalta both one hit anyway. You can make the mm -hmm. argument... I think it's at a... that point I hadn't seen your uh, Urshifu. I think you did. So I was thinking... But either way, mm -hmm. uh, it helps against the Radiant we'll, we'll Charizard. We'll replay, and when I'm wrong, we'll, we'll all know. It helps against Radiant Charizard. I have the single strike mustard I need in hand if I wanted to try a Beedrill move, but it's it's dangerous and risky. I'm going to look at my discard sure. and see if I have the, a Drizzile in there. I don't think I do. I don't. It's a Sobble. So I could Evolution Incense or a Drizzile, grab some items to discard this hand, and then Single Strike and hope I get enough tools to lift this up with the Inteleon and Scoop Up Net. So I think I will Evolution Incense and then also check my deck at the same time. I also have a Radiant Gardevoir that doesn't help me at all here. No, that... So I have the Scoop Up Net. I do uh, 480 damage with Urshifu because of the two single strike energies. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you think that's enough? I don't know. I do 220, so I do 440 to the, to the Arceus. Or 220 to anything else. So, yeah. yeah I, I don't think that's enough. I think you need to be doing more damage. <laughs> <laughs> No one ever expects a fighting type. Uh, I don't know why. You know, things like Arceus are, isn't completely gone. And you have all these lightning types to try to counter Lugia. So, like, fighting types make a little bit of sense. Listen, I, wanna, I, I run a 1-1 one, one line of Urshifu. I don't need that many. Okay, I'm going to take your uh, suggestion on the Lost Vacuum and get rid of my Big Charm, and also I have to put something else in. Yes. I think the move is... Because this throws is going to grab me either an Ultra Ball or a Quick Ball, depending on what I need to get rid of. And I have these four options. This one I can attach. This one I can just use. These two, one of them needs to be gotten rid of, so I think I'll pick Marnie. I can't imagine needing Marnie for any of these scenarios, um, because there's a Roxanne in my deck if I really wanted to try to shuffle you down. Okay. Right. I attach the choice belt to Arceus, just in case. You never know. There might be a scenario. Still, it certainly isn't going to help me on Beedrill. Still doesn't KO the Urshifu. You're 10 damage shy. Um, I also do run a copy of Powerful Energy in this list. So there is, a, there is a chance of throwing that in there. But Okay, okay. That would be a manual attach, and I'm already... I only really have one attachment on Arceus V. So right. this, is the, this is a worst-case scenario kind of game. Drizzile, which will grab a quick ball, I think. Yes. Um, the quick ball in hand will discard the grass energy. I'll look for a basic. If I want one. I kind of need to grab one that's in the deck. There's no more Zobbles. I don't really want to put another two prize liability out, so I think I have to grab Radiant Gardevoir. I mean, that's the least yeah. harmful 
mm. basic left that thins the deck, which I I really need because that that five cards I draw has to help. Right. Uh, and the bad part about thinning my deck is that I have a pal pad that I have to use. So two of something in my discard, two supporters. Does it say shuffle two it's or not up? up to two. Uh, it's shuffle two. Mm. You you answer my question. I could put Raihan, Sharon's Care, or another Mustard. So I'm going to put Raihan and Mustard. I don't really think I can get a lot of benefit out of... You know what? I don't need the Single Strike Mustard. I will put in Sharon's Care. I'm not going to get another Beedrill play. It's a little too exotic. Okay, and then after I shuffle, I will be playing Single Strike Mustard. And if I don't get what I need... Did you get your Beedrill? Then this game will go to you very quickly. I do have a Beedrill... It be hiding. There you go. All right. Not, th this isn't necessarily this for you, discard. but really for anyone who's watching. Uh, you you must have an open bench spot to play mustard. So if there was Correct. like an you know uh, five bench Pokemon, even if you have only mustard in hand, you cannot play it because you can't get a single strike Pokemon and put it into play. Pretty tragic. I mean, the same thing happens with um, Lugia V Star's ability. Um, if you don't have those two bench spots for the two Archeops, you are in a in a bad state. That happened to me once playing it. Um, I had a collapsed stadium down. I wasn't thinking, and I burned the ability and did not get the second Archeops. Ah uh, no. But mistakes are how we learn. It is. It is. Okay. This is a big five cards. If I don't have an energy and a scoop up net or an out to a, a evolving card and a scoop up net, it's going to be bad news bears. I'll tell you this. Okay, I have a scoop up net. I, I have a see an energy. I have a Serena in hand. Yeah, I think this is over. Because now that you played Mustard as your supporter, you can't boss or Marnie or Roxanne, so this Serena is going to stick. I was not able to make it work, and I didn't have any other... Oh my god, there's a giant spider. There's a giant spider in my room. What's... Hold on. It's a it's an Eridos. It's very interested in my gameplay. But fortunately, I have a glass here. I can put it in temporarily. You are a little bit more nonchalant than uh, someone should be for a spider crawling around in their room. Well... He's uh, he's now neutralized. There are no Ariados anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, I picked another Mulligan. Oh, uh, before we do that, do you want to go first or second? I would love to go first. All right. One of the things about this list is if you don't get an Arceus V Star out on turn one, you're really in the back foot, and it's it's kind of a kind of a struggle. I took a Mulligan as well. Which I think is well. fair for anything in this format because Lugia sets up fairly easily. It can. It can. I've definitely had my share of games where it's like, oh boy, this is this is gonna be a tough one. I gotta hope my opponent bricks as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see the spider later? No, no, I don't. Why not? I want it gone. I don't want it dead. I, will, you know I want what? it. I take a picture of it anyway, so that way your uh, your viewers at home don't have to wonder how big was that spider. And uh, the I'm not gonna is lie. Larger than this V star marker. I will. T I will. So. Okay. I will tell you this for sure. I think more people would not want to see it than want to see it. And you know what? If they do want to see it, I have all your links in the video description so they can reach out to you and be like, hey, I want to see that spider. Um, but I, That's true. I am not going to put that spider directly uh, in the video. Can't do it. I, I, don't, I, don't like to, scary. I don't like to cut stuff out. I just, a lot of people don't like spiders and... I'm one, one, I'm one of them. <laughs> and, you know, I don't want unsolicited spiders. <laughs> you're, uh, you're okay. active and, and deck are a little well, out of frame. I will, I will take a picture of the spider and then if folks would like to see it, just leave me a message at Optimal60 on YouTube. Yeah. And you can see the spider. 
Yeah. I, okay, you ready? I don't know. I had a. I mulliganed as well. That's, ooh, I mulliganed twice. Ooh. Yeah. I, I'm actually very glad I mulliganed on that because that was a pretty bad hand. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, now it's, it looks like the tables have turned. You're gonna get to draw a card. Maybe even two. Maybe we'll see. I don't have a ton of basics. And like the Yveltal and Charizard, I really don't want to start. Oh yeah, it's it's the worst to start with Charizard because it has a three retreat cost. Yeah. And most of the lists just don't play any kind of Pokemon recovery. I yeah. So I, once it's gone, you can't use it. Recovery or retreat. Mm hmm So some will No scoop up net. No, no, not in this. Alright. Oh, we just slap it down. Okay, this is all about redemption. Let's go, Arceus Bees. <laughs> Don't forget to take your mulligan draw. Will do. There's my mulligan draw. And here's my draw for turn. Now I have a very nice hand. Very nice. Oh, boy. Redemption Arceus. Drop a double turbo because I know you're not going to have any way to discard it or way to um, otherwise knock out Arceus V. Yeah. Mm, I can't use a supporter. I could use an evolution in sense, but that wouldn't make any sense. So instead, I will pass. Okay. Well, I will draw. That's not terrible. Uh, we're going to Ultra Ball a research and an Archaeops. I'll go ahead, get a second Archaeops. We are going to, um, I'll attach this DTE. And then I'll research, I gotta shuffle first. So, it's really... Yeah, someone at the Pokemon Company must really love Archaeops. I mean, there's there's this Archaeops, there's the Archaeops that got banned, that prevented you from evolving. Caracosta has never had a good card. Uh, I, I can't comment, really. I don't know. That's... It... I mean, there was a Caracosta V, and there was a uh, Caracosta that blocked tools, like Pokemon tools, but they were never relevant. I... You, you do notice some Pokemon get special treatment. Like, there are some Pokemon that, that are just always good. Like, Darkrai is always good. Uh, there's a lot of, like... You know, I'm sure Lugia is generally a pretty good card. Uh, okay. Okay. Lugia's had a couple of flops, but I think it's very, very strong, generally. I'm gonna go ahead... I'm, gonna, I'm in a slightly dangerous situation here. I'm gonna bench this mana feed just so I don't instantly lose. And we're gonna go ahead and read the wind to discard this uh, Archaeops and draw three. So now you've got your two Archaeops in the bench and you've got a handful of cards. Oh, I got three Archaeops in the discard. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to... That's, that's a few too many. Yeah. Now, for the folks watching at home who are interested, there's also another counter that you could use on turn one. Uh, there is a spirit tomb with the attack ghostly cries and when you use it for a single colorless energy it takes any pokemon in your opponent's discard and shuffles them into the deck Ooh. so you can use that before they get their archaeops out um in my experience there's a enough ways to discard cards that it's never been an issue but it is an option so think about that that is very interesting yes now, you have a Lugia active, so you probably aren't going to retreat next turn, although you could into a different attacker. I do I'm going to play a Radiant Gardevoir. I do think I should have retreated this past turn. Like, I should have retreated into the into the Mana Fee. Well, is, what's Lugia's retreat cost? Isn't two. it two? Yeah. Yeah, so you would have needed to attach a double turbo to do that. Or maybe a... That's what I got. Balloon. I got a DT on it. But then he wouldn't have been able to read the wind. That's true. I didn't need to. I had two Archaeops in the discard before. So maybe mm. maybe a third read the wind wasn't 
Uh, maybe I should have done some other stuff, I think. But it is what it is. It's a niche ball. It's a it's a good puzzle, you know. Did you did you need to retreat more? Or did you need to really win more? Because an Arceus with a double turbo can only do 180 unless there's extra um, tools added onto it, which unfortunately for you, I'm going to Starbirth and try to get those exact tools to get Lugia out of the picture. One of those things I'm going to need is a choice belt, and the other one is the powerful energy. And if it's if any of those are in my prizes, then or actually if even one of those is in the prizes, then you'll be able to survive the next turn. I'm not seeing my powerful energy. Oh. I think it's prize. Oh boy, that's super Check lucky. Again. That would be That's extremely lucky. This is a guard energy. Lost vacuum. And it would stand out because it's not printed like the rest of these ones. Right. Yeah, you you got a <laughs> Oh boy. Ugh. So now knowing that I have to re reformulate my plan. So does the choice belt even matter at this point? Is it worth grabbing since you know you're not gonna take the KO? No, because the choice belt would do two ten. Lugia's at two twenty. Right. And I don't have a zigzagoon to the difference. I will grab a V-Guard energy. And you don't have to see this because it's Starbirth, but I, I'm going to show the viewers. I'm going to grab a V-Guard energy. And I think... If I want to start using... The single strike. I have the Beedrill in hand, which is unfortunate because I'll need to discard all five of these resources. Or, you know, I could use one of them. I think it has to be... A, I think it has to be an Ultra Ball. Okay. Do I have an energy in hand? No. It looks like I'm going to be using the supporter Marnie for turn, and you just did a read the win. How many cards in your hand? A bunch. Three. Eight. Yeah, so it's probably going to be a Marnie turn. So these are going to be the two things I pull out from Starbirth. I'm these just going to sh start shuffling this hand. Yeah. Get geared up to shuffle. Um, now the Ultra Ball I grabbed... I'm going to use it to discard. Actually, I don't even want to discard any of this stuff. Because I want to put, I want to shuffle B Drill back into the deck. I want to shuffle the Scoop up. I want to shuffle the Inteleon back into the deck. So Ultra Ball is kind of a waste yeah. to grab there. That's on me. I'm going to Marty. Okay. I already shuffled up that hand. Let's see if you can Marty me out of this game. Well, I can Marnie myself out of the powerful energy in my prizes, which I would have liked to have access to. Yeah. I didn't I didn't recover from that very well though. The the tilt of not being able to have powerful energy kinda kinda got to me there. Yeah, ultra uh if you weren't gonna discard, if Marnie was gonna be the play to keep that B drill in the deck, uh then yeah, Ultra mm -hmm. Ball was kind of a a wasted grab. Oh well. And you know, I could have used it to search for a Sobble, but you know, I I could do that more easily with less discard intensive yeah you know cards like i can quick ball and get the stuff i want right now so i will quick ball away i'm gonna keep sharon's care i'm gonna quick ball away the dte pick up sobble so now i'm not completely defenseless next turn when it comes to drawing cards of choice And I could, you know, Ultra Ball for a second Arceus V-Star, but that doesn't make any sense. Instead, I'm going to turn Nova for 180. Okay. And then attach three Grass Energy to this bent Arceus V. This is the first time I'm taking damage in these two games. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, it's an unfortunate side effect. You, you took a clean... Not being able to draw in one. You took a clean KO before. Very true, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough. All right, I will draw for turn. Unfortunately, I do have the Urshifu and an Evolution Incense. But what if you didn't? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good question. What if? So we're going to go Lugia. And now we'll V-Star. Get the two Archaeops. We 
can. I'm going to retreat into the Arshifu. Because Lugia is not... I want to be able to save the powerful colorless energies for the Archaeops to take out the... Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let me do a little math. Let me do a little math real quick. Maths. Quick maths. I got a choice belt. We attach. That brings me to 250 to uh, 230. You have a V guard. So there's, ne there's never a scenario where I KO. So, okay. So yeah, retreating is the correct way. I forgot about that V guard. Mm -hmm. And the Radiant Guard War. Yeah. So that's minus 50. So let's go... Unfortunately, it's after weakness, not before. I mean, it wouldn't make a difference for this Urshifu. True. Well, did I prize my other single strike energy? I mean, it doesn't... That would be cool if you did. I mean, I still do 400 damage. 350? Yeah, I guess. Or, uh, 370. Oh, yeah, no, 350, yeah, 350 because of the Guard of War. So that's Primal Turbo 1. Yeah. Oh, that's totally survivable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could throw the Choice Belt on there to do an extra 60 damage, but seems kind of wasteful. You know, there's never been a card printed with 350 HP, but it's totally survivable. Um, you know, there's a secret Cape of Toughness, and this is actually a basic, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Primal Turbo number 2... Let me look how many energies I actually have in this deck. How many more? Too many. Aurora too, energies. Too many. That's the real question. So I want to make sure that I have enough for... For a Yvelto play later. Seems like one is... I have an Aurora Energy prized. So there's a 33% chance I pick one up off the prizes right now, but I don't think I want to take that chance. So we're going to go ahead and sit Primal Turbo number two is going to be just for, I think, a Capture Energy. Because now the Aurora and the Single Strike provide the double fighting requirement. So we'll do that. And that thing is going to get annihilated. I'm going to impact blow that thing into next uh, into oh. next next year. I was going to 2024. Whoa. Yeah. That hurt. That cut deep. I don't even wear. Okay, now I have to figure out what to promote. Mm. I'd really... How much HP does Urshifu have? 220? It does, yeah. 220? Okay, so I could KO it with an Arceus if it gets a choice belt. I feel good about that, so here's... With that Arceus, here's yes. Here's Arceus B. Yeah, big bad Arceus. You know, what's what's he gonna do? Play Ordinary Rod? Uh, Don't no. <laughs> <laughs> but you did use your Starboard, so you have to have the choice belt and the V-Star. It's not unrealistic with the Sabo in hand. Uh, and like mm -hmm. a decent draw supporter. Mm -hmm. Now my top deck was single strike mustard, so I'm in a I'm in a creative situation where I have that ultra ball from earlier, and I could just discard cards, grab the V star, and then single strike mustard. Yeah, that's a. I really think that's I really think it's a funky play that requires me to get rid of an ordinary rod. How... But I think that's okay. Yeah, so probably. Ultra ball. That's fine. You know, it's not every day you top deck mustard. No, that that was a. It's it's the Dijon. I mean, what would you, without that mustard? What would your play have been? Ultra Ball for a Drizzile. Mhm. Mm Ultra Ball for a Drizzile. And then and then what? Well, Drizzile would have grabbed. Um, or would you just Ultra Ball draw card? Okay. Yeah. Here's the V Star that I pulled off the Ultra Ball. Mhm. Mm and then now it's mustard time. All right. So single strike mustard. Search immediately for a B drill. B drill, and then now I will shuffle my deck and draw five. And if we're, you know, anywhere near lucky, 
just anywhere in the vague direction of Lucky, there'll be a level ball. Or a Drizzile. Or a Toy Spell. Yeah, you have a lot of outs. I think it's very likely this Urshifu goes down. A lot of outs. They should all be in deck. And, you know, for, for bonus points, there's a Beedrill right there. So maybe if I can't make it happen with Arceus, maybe, maybe Beedrill can make it happen. Beedrill could definitely make it happen should you get the energy. And I managed to pull a Drizzile, which is so welcome. So lovely. Now, Choice Belt's in there because I was looking for it earlier. Right. Whoop. Attach that and I will shuffle. But before I shuffle, here's a Sobble. Now, my, my bench is getting a little cut off here at this point, but there's four Pokemon down. Yeah, I feel good about that. I could grab another Arceus. I might I might need one. Mm, I don't want to give you another easy knockout. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to commit to the bit and just not grab a second Arceus. Okay. I have a quick ball in hand I can use, but... I'm going to YOLO with my with my pal Beedrill. And Trinity Nova should knock you out. It does. Yeah, Unless 230. Unless you've got V-Guard energy that I don't know about. I, I wish I did. I really, really wish I... I mean, uh, Urshifu can't attack this next turn anyway, so... I'd have to retreat and figure something else out. True. Now, let's see what I want to do here. You, Win the game. You, you have know. 280 <laughs> health, so I could do 250, 272. Okay. All right. I'm going to promote this Lugia. And I'll draw for turn. Let's go ahead and Primal Turbo. So this is Primal Turbo 1. So now I'm doing 220, 250, 270. And Primal Turbo number 2. Uh, we'll go ahead and get... I'm going to try to keep some energies in the deck, I think. So we're just going to get... Mm. You know what? Let's see. I got to count this out. Actually, yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. Go ahead and get two capture energies onto the Lugia here. And you will be able to knock this out with the Beedrill next turn, which is very, very scary. But I'll get two prizes in the process. So we'll go ahead um, to make it a little bit more difficult. First, I have to attach this choice belt if I want to actually KO. I'm going to make it a little more mm -hmm. difficult by playing Collapse Stadium. Okay, my bench is now four. So you can't get a second Beedrill and a... Uh, uh, a sec, uh, an Ar uh, what's it, an Arceus. So that's a thing. And I guess, I guess I just uh, take the KO here, Tempest Dive. Okay, run the run the math group real quick. You've got two powerful energy and a choice belt. And a choice belt. Yeah. So that's two twenty, two forty, two sixty, two ninety. Yeah. Oh, you you have Gardevoir. That doesn't, Gardevoir. That doesn't knock out. I've got Radiant Gardevoir. Yeah, you 
do, don't you? I forgot. I, it, the proxies mm-hmm. throw me off. Like, I, don't, I don't see it. Yeah. If oh, it wait. makes you feel any better, this is uh, underneath the proxy of Rainy Greninja. That doesn't make me feel better. Um, and I and know it doesn't. Yeah, because I do 40. That's 260, 290. Yeah, I am 20 shy. Oof. So I actually don't take no, those prizes. Uh, you have, you have effectively. Oh, you have effectively three hundred health. Yeah. Mhm. So it should be two seventy. And it's your turn. Okie dokie. Drop a turn. This happened to me with um with the Charizard with the heat energy attached to it. I had um two double turbo on an Arceus and I figured one sixty was enough. Mm. But heat energy adds twenty HP to a fire type yes. and I just I sat there and life flashed before my eyes. I yeah, it's because that was the game when It is it's it's challenging with the 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 proxy for sure. You just you just you're looking at the board and it just doesn't register. Mm-hmm. Did you have uh, access to another powerful energy? Uh, no, but I might have made a different play. Mm-hmm. Maybe this would have been evil all time. May- yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh well. Hey, I'm gonna level ball. Here's a drizzle, which I will evolve. Now, the cool thing for you is that I don't have access to any... Oh, there it is. Energy search. So energy search for grass energy. How is that the cool thing for me? The cool thing is that I don't have access to any of my bench spaces, so I can't put down another drill. Yes. And you didn't take a knockout on Arceus V-Star, so I couldn't just grab a Raihan. Right. So I had to I had to burn my energy search. So if I if I need to B drill again in the game, I'm gonna have to rely on top decks. Because this deck does not play training court. I think it might I think it might make sense to start playing training court. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, previously the stadium in this deck was past the peak. There's just too many too many weird abilities that you need to be able to stop. But I think training court might be a good swap in. Okay, I will attach the B drill. I don't believe I still have access to Charon's care. I think I discarded it earlier. But I, I, might, I could maybe get a pal pad, but there's I can't grab another Sobble. I can evolution incense. Get Inteleon. I don't have any good retreating item stuff. I have to figure out what I want to do with my supporter for turn. I'd like to bump your stadium. I'd like to maybe retreat and have some kind of option. I think Teleon is going to have to grab me a pal pad and I'll have to retreat later. So that way, next turn, I'll the path to the peak, and I'll also have maybe a second Arceus on bench. I guess I could rock sand. No, I don't think you've. I don't think you've taken three prizes. I have not. I can't rock sand. There is another B drill in my deck, but I can't get another single strike mustard play unless I'm searching for that. I don't think I have the ability to do with my hand the way it is. How big is your hand size? Four. Yeah, I don't want a Marnie either. Considering that I, I have a... what supporter I could use. I haven't played a supporter in like three turns. <laughs> yeah. I, a Marnie would be pretty welcomed. Just, you know, a note between friends. 
<laughs> okay, I think I'll take a Raihan. So that next turn I have that. You know what? If I were really smart... Because I, I can't find the pal pad. It must be in my prizes and I missed it. So if I were really smart, I would take a scoop up net. See, that's what smart people do. So I'll do that instead of Raihan. And I evolved that Drizzile this turn, so we can't evolve again. Right. And I attached a Beedrill this turn, so I can't attach again. But what I can do is path the peak to bump your stadium. Sure. Shut off Charizard in the process if one shows up. Spend two energy to manually retreat into the B. I don't believe you have any uh, big parasol in play. No. I haven't seen any. Scoop up net to lift up Inteleon. Now, I don't know if you're going to have a second Collapse Stadium. So one one option, I have a Quick Ball in hand. I could Quick Ball some things uh, and either put down another Arceus, put down nothing and guarantee that I have a spot for a second B drill, or just bench the Sobble again. And I think I'm going to need access to draw cards, so I think Sobble's the smart choice. And then I... Persist Sting and take the knockout on Lugia. All right. Still didn't draw the pow uh, powerful energy off those prizes, so it's it's very deep in there. Never gonna see the light of day. And let's see. I guess it has to be an Archaeops for now. So I'll draw for turn. This isn't looking good. I, I, I'm I running out of steam here. I, I just haven't seen a draw supporter. And, like, this is... My energy. My hand is an Archaeops, three energies, and a V-Star. Like, nothing particularly helpful here. Um, and I used both powerful colorless energies on that Lugia because I didn't... The, the Gardevoir didn't register in my tiny male lizard brain. Because I think all males have a lizard brain. Um, it's just it's just a small you know there's not even a picture on it I mean I don't blame you I would forget about it too so I don't I can't knock out this Beedrill I don't think Liz. I yeah I don't think I can really I mean I'll Primal Turbo to look through the deck where are all my supporters <laughs> they're, they're in there I don't have that many cards left in deck A quick ball would have been just as fine. Would have been just as good. But no. It does not take a whole lot for Lugia to be absolutely omnipresent. So <laughs> I do have to hope a little bit that, you know, there's at least one weaker turn in there. No, but... I've had a couple of weak turns. I guess we go. Well, because if you attach to anything, then it becomes a B drill target. Yeah, but I, I if, and I've got a very thick handful of cards. Yeah, I don't. I mean, if but if I don't attach anything, you just what's if you don't attach anything, I have to do some awkward moving around. Yeah, and I've only got so many energy to work with, and two of them at least are already in the discard. I. Th Think. Two and two DTE in the discard for me. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I am just gonna pass. Okay. I don't. I just have nothing to do. Like you said, it, uh, there's no point in attaching. At least right now, maybe I can get lucky and find a Serena or a Research or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have a DTE that I'm going to throw down on Arceus. And I've got a bit of a, a bit of a dilemma in that I really want to knock out one of your Archeops, but to do so I need to discard an energy off of Beedrill. I think I have to do that whether I want to or not. Which will eventually cause me to lose Arceus V-Star. Checking my discard. I mean, you have uh, a Raihan, most likely. So, 
You just well, it's not in hand, but I have I have tools to search for it. Right. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the same thing. You, I would, yeah, just Which do we... it. Because then you take a KO, and go then, down to then... one. I send up anything, knock yeah, it out, Beedrill. That, no, that's yeah, that's game. Yeah. So as long as you can't, if if your top deck doesn't let you shuffle like my hand in, then you have a Aurora you energy. It, okay. Yeah. No. So that was two two kind of funky games in a row. Yeah, all of my supporters Where... just did not want to show up. Uh, research would have been great. Just you know, making a Yvelto play happen, a quick ball would have been enough to do it. Would have uh, would have been an all right spot. But you know, sometimes you just. You just can't control your top deck like we said before. This is, you know, you can uh, try to thin as much as you can, but even as much as I, as I thinned, it just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And that's that's one of the things that Arceus Italian can do that Lugia really can't. Um, Lugia's late game can look really tough if you haven't planned perfectly. Um, so it's it's sometimes hard to pilot those late game scenarios where sure you can put an energy down, but what is that going to actually do for you? And, and what happens if you're out of the energy type you need? You know, late game, you can't always pull out a second Evel Fall. Well, that's why I really like this build. Because I don't need a second Evel Fall. I have Urshifu that can just, you know, between two single strike energies and uh, an Aurora energy and something else, any, any other energy, I can knock out pretty much anything in the game. Mm -hmm. And then I still have enough energies in the deck for Evel Fall. Uh, I'm gonna go first this time. I, have at it. I haven't had a. I didn't mulligan. All right, let's see if I can not mulligan. I haven't gone first yet, so we'll see if that changes right. my fare. No mulligans. No mulligan. I will. But were there really no mulligans? <laughs> no, there really were none. So we'll go ahead and draw for turn. Okay. I see how it is. Uh, to answer your question, how many Lugias? I think there'd be uh, one for each ocean. Who would control them? I have no idea. But we're going to go double Evo Incense. Okay. That kind of makes it sound like the Dragon Balls from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, you know, if you if you get all the Ocean's Lugias together, you know what happens. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I will attach a Hiding Dark... And I think that's going to be it. Yeah, all right. Not really, turn. not really worried about turn one donk from Arc Bees. Very true. It's not a, it's not a pressing concern. I have a, I have a path to grab anything I wanted, but it would cost me some pretty good resources. Okay, I'm going to use an Ultra Ball to discard a Path to the Peak in the Grass Energy. I'm going to grab an Arceus V. And check the prizes. Here's that powerful energy. All right, you got the Choice Belt <laughs> to go with it, though. Well, that's that's between me and uh, my deck. Well, you can figure that out later. <laughs> well, you're showing me your deck, so... Well, you're not supposed to see it. Well, the, I so, mean, what am I... No, I got to... <laughs> This is this is for the viewers. Oh well, I'm technically a viewer in the moment, so I'm just an early. You, know, you I'm, say that I'm an early viewer. You're an early adopter. Yeah. Looks like you prized that choice belt. You know, you think that. I I do think that it's a little hard to see with the proxies. I also have a level ball. To grab a sobble. But you know, one one of the pillars of friendship is honesty. Aw. Oh, well, it's been years since I thought about the the pillars. Pillars of character. Do you wanna uh, pull your cards down a little bit? No, you're not allowed to see them anymore. You're you're uh you're you're looking at 
forbidden deck knowledge. Well, I just mean you're active and bench, like they're a little high on the screen. Oh, sure. My apologies. Uh, yeah, na now who's apologizing, huh? You know, I just, you know, I make, I make mistakes. <laughs> simple, simple mistakes, double turbo to Arceus V, and pass. All right, we're going to draw. We are going to attach power for callless energy and research and just kind of hope for the best here. Mm -hmm. I mean, research is pretty good odds. Yeah, yeah, great odds. I don't have the exact numbers, but I think um, a professor's research from a deck of like 46 cards or so. Um, I think you have like a 50% odds of pulling something you have a four count of. But let me let me run the numbers for you after the after the game and be triple sure about that. Well, summoning star. Actually, I don't need to play this done sparse. Because I'm going to have the two Archaeops in play. So I don't have to worry about like the Donk if you do get a Beedrill play off. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go ahead, Primal Turbo. Take a look through the deck for the first... Oh, not for the first time. I did look before. Um, okay, let's... Those... Alright, alright. That's doable. The good news is I don't have to worry about this Radiant Gardevoir for the rest of the game. Cause it's about to get KO'd. No. Oh, my sweet, my sweet son. Not the Radiant Gardevoir. I know. But that actually kind of works in my favor to knock it out because the uh, price trade is now... It's, it's knocking out a beedrill will put me back on an even prize map. Mm -hmm. So it kind of really, really worked out for me. Um, before I do knock it out, is there anything else I wanted to do? No. So yeah, we'll just go ahead. We'll take the KO. And uh, it, you're up. Okay. Promote Arceus V. And draw for turn. Oh no, my hand is bad. <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh. Uh, I, can, I can bench a Stobble, and I can Trinity Charge, but it's, uh... That thing's you know, getting it's, KO'd. It's not. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose my son. But I could, I could retreat. I could retreat. I think that's smarter. Ugh, the burn the dip double turbo. Oh, boy. Your Stobble's cut off. You got to keep them at, like, the head level of Charizard. Right in the mid-ground. Yeah. You're right. Your turn. All right. This will not take very long. Well. No, my butt. it's not because I have a boss. And I'm obviously taking the Arceus. <laughs> you know, you may have a boss, but I am a girl boss. Yes. So. Yes, you are. <laughs> deal with it. And we're just going to take the KO. Yeah, there's nothing else really to do. We'll KO, get well, two more prizes. Well, folks. The, uh, the Lugia counter is definitely working exactly as intended. No mistake. No, none. <laughs> no mistake. Draw for turn. Oh, oh, would you look at that? Oh, I can't, I can't play two scoop up net and lift up both. Oh my god. This is good. This is the old scoop up net concession. Yeah, but I did have the choice belt. You so did. You way. did. Yeah. Well, that was, uh,. A, a pretty, two RKs beat my pride. pretty quick game three, but you know what? Lugia going first is very scary. I do think game one, this Urshifu surprised you, caught you off guard, and was probably the reason yeah. I won. I uh, I believe that. I'll, I'll believe that for my ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my super niche one of tech card that just happens to be like, you know. All the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which it, this is my build like this is my regular lugia deck i think online it's a little different uh but i do run a one one like if you see me in a tournament and i'm playing lugia i'm not gonna lie it's probably this or some something close to this uh so it's not like i put this Lugia. you're this, making the play this i don't play. i don't care my my goal is to be accessible not to be world champion so Aww, well 
You're a world champion in our hearts. Oh, that's so sweet. And also the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. You could you could tell yourself that it's a lie, but we all know the truth. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and... Also, we didn't really say it before. I, 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 you know, I said at the beginning of the video that I didn't record yet. But please go check out Optimal Sixty YouTube. We got the Twitter, all that stuff in the video description. So, uh, any final words about Arc Bees? How how did you feel about the Lugia matchup? Uh, anything that you would change to your deck? Listen, Arc Bees is the play. I, you know, it doesn't matter that I didn't win. <laughs> the point is that Arc Bees is the play. Uh, if you're if you're rolling into San Diego this weekend, um, or if you're rolling into a tournament sometime soon where Lugia is still the dominant deck, um, as you saw today, it's extremely versatile. But you know, Beedrill can Beedrill can make a couple of people sweat, and I think I think it's a pretty strong um, Lugia answer. I will so say I this is going to go up well after San Diego, so. You know, uh, for, well, fortunately, Luia will still be relevant. Oh, for many yeah. More months. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is this is definitely a uh, a timely video, but not not timely enough for San Diego. We should have done this like two weeks ago. Uh, well, my apologies. Do you want me to swap in the name of Orlando? Yes. I mean, I'm not going to edit it well, out. So. Yeah, <laughs> Art bees is the play. Orlando. Yeah. Orlando. Yeah, you heard it here Bring first. Bring bees to Orlando. Bring actual bees and let them out in the or convention the center. That would be. Bring a yeah, just, box of bees. Yeah, I need. That's what. That's what you should be doing right now. Is building up your own beehive network, like your own uh, your raise bees. And then just bring them to the convention center and let them loose. And you'll win every game in a convention center full of bees. I bet. I, I, you'll win every game you play, which will be zero when you get kicked out. Listen. I didn't say there wouldn't be consequences. I just said if you are playing games in a convention center full of bees, uh, you're probably going to win, right? Because who's going who's gonna to be there to play against you? I, maybe maybe this large spider <laughs> that's still been accompanying me through the direction. Oh yeah, I'm and I'm I'm getting off this Discord call before I have to look at that spider. So thank you so much for taking the time uh, to play. Right, I won't try. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time to to play a little Arc Bees versus Lugia. Uh, I I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It's always fun hanging out with you and and chatting. So uh, thanks so much for for making the time for me. That was a blast. I always love coming to visit the channel. Um, great place here. Great place to hang out. And uh, it was good to spend an evening with you, Nick. So there you have it. Lugia still taking the win over something like Arceus Beedrill. I do think Arceus Beedrill sometimes is a little bit too slow at times. Uh, I do think that, you know, you have to choose between something like Sharon's Care and, and Single Strike Mustard, which could be kind of a problem. You have to maybe... Mustard does act as a draw support when you can pull it off, so it's not like you have to choose between Serena and and muster which is kind of nice but you know the turns that you mustered you might want to boss you might need to uh you, you know do something so you can try and find some missing pieces uh if you if you don't have if you don't manage your bench really really well then it can be hard to find that missing piece like the uh retreat option or the energy search or whatever so that when you actually mustered and you get a Beedrill in play, you can power it up, get it into the active, and take the appropriate KO. So, uh, I think it is an option. I think it can be played well. I, of course, had the single strike Urshifu, something that was very unexpected and did help win. So, uh, you know, we have to just take everything as, you know, uh, small. I take it with a grain of salt, right? It's, it's two games or three games. It wasn't a ton. It's not enough to say Arceus Beedrill is bad. You should never play it. You try it more. See if you get it some more wins against more conventional uh, Lugia decks, maybe ones that don't run Urshifu, and see how it goes. But yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you again to Mikhail for taking the time to come and play some games. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.